Kung mag-memorize na ito, ang King James, usually, ang turbulent King James ba? Uh, uh, so, sige, i-quote, i-memorize na na ito, ang memorize. Psalm 23, 1 to 6. Really, begin. Psalm 23, 1 to 6. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall come. He makes me a light on the green pastures. He meets me in the still water. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yet though I walk the body and the child of death, for I fear no evil, thou art in the Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So confirm yun ang ang research na ang book of ang Psalm 23 is the most memorized chapter in the book of Psalms. So. Okay, uh, this morning I am going to preach uh, verse 1 on the uh, praise of the Holy Spirit. Father in heaven, uh, thank you again for the privilege of looking at uh, your words, you know, and uh, it's a prayer in the name of the story of Amo. Personally, I have a prayer in the name Lord, the pinaka goal is to glorify you, uh, you know, Muna uh, ang ang among tinguha na ikaw ay maya sa mga patroon sa mga pulong and uh, uh, kami po ma-applica lang po sa mga mga pinagbuhi may you give us comfort as we look at this uh, uh, wonderful uh, passage dito sa Bible uh, Lord, uh, bless this to uh, sa mga mga pinagbuhi we commit to you our time together in Jesus' name we pray Okay. Uh, the title of the message is the power of personal meditation. Okay, the, the power of personal meditation. The power of personal meditation in the Lord. Okay. Uh, again, as I, as what I have said, na yun ako nga di kani meditation man ni 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 David. Like meditate ako sa iyang meditation. So that's uh, muna ako i-share ka lang. Gamay lang na background sa Psalm 23 about sa occasion. No? Uh, there was uh, no exact occasion uh, what was David's situation when he wrote Psalm 23. Uh, kung magtanaw ka sa mga kuang, bilibig sila maka-strongly yung mga mawagaling na itako pagsulat ni Anib. Uh, na ay mga suggestion or ay mga possibilities na mag-uban uh, na pagsulat ni David and eh, uh, uh, David wrote this uh, psalm or the psalm was written when David was a lad tending the sheep. Why? Because ang uh, ilang argument is that because it's a shepherd psalm. It's a psalm uh, it's a shepherd's song. It's talking about the shepherd. So, uh, pero gamera kayo ang possibility na kaya uh, uban nga uh, gina argue po na sa uban nga kasi yung kapul ka ayon niya mag atubang ko kanal uh, death threat ba uh, sa verse uh, chapter uh, chapter four I uh, verse four in the year do I walk to the valley the shadow of death kasi guru ingana sa bata pa siya dito din ingana siya ka ka ingana na yung experience muna muna argue so gamay nga possibility second is second possibility is uh, this song the song was written when David was older when when he was old uh, I don't know wala man di specify kung sa ka old na si David uh, siguro just like sa sa text kato sa Psalm 30, 37, when uh, chapter, four, uh, chapter 23, 24, when, when uh, the text said that uh, I have been young and now I'm old. It's like that. The argument is like that. Uh, see, David, during his time, he looked back, say, I one, he tried to remember, recall 
how the Lord take care of the book. So, muna yung mga kwan. Ang, ang last uh, nga common uh, uh, possibility uh, possibility na isulat ni ni David is that the psalm was written during the time when, when David flee from his son Absalom. Remember mo nga gi recover ni Absalom ang kingdom and then uh, ingon ni uh, David sa 2 Samuel 15 ingon ni Andrews ang mga tao ng Jerusalem uh, flee at doon na ta sibat mo kay Absalom pati hindi ta niya so uh, muna ang mga possibilities again as what I have said the background Dikit ka ka dogmatic ani, but I think there's a sense uh, sa number three because when David said that uh, uh, muni ang issues sa uh, sa text uh, kung magbasa ka sa verse one to 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 three very smooth kayo ang mukul ang equilibrio nila na ang equilibrio kaya mo mula kwan ba balan ba uh, kung magbasa ka wala ka verse one to three very smooth. Pagkabot sa verse 4 of Ruma, naanang gamay, tungkol sa issue about, uh, tungkol sa sa problem ni Ingin, sa even though uh, I walk through the valley in the shadow of the fear no ego. So, there's a great possibility na when, when Paul, uh, no, when David wrote this psalm, uh, this was the time na na, na Lysia, imagine ang yun, anak mo yun, magkakuan kaya. Uh, now, whether uh, one, two, or three, uh, it, it's not that very important. Okay? I don't know if you want to look at it to connect it. But important. What, is, what, is, what matters most is that how David viewed the Lord uh, wherever and whatever situation uh, uh, during this time of writing, uh, it doesn't matter. But what would matter is kung unsa ang iyong paglalakaw sa Diyos during uh, this uh, situation sa pagsulat niya. Now, ang genre of the book of Psalms, of Psalms is a poetry sa sa mga tips nga gina gina tuklok sa sa biblical interpretation is that when you are going to interpret uh, poetry mabantayan ni mo ang mga repetitive ang mga kuan usahay usara ka idea pero block of verses mga terms and contrast pero ah na ko usah sa mga na na inumduman na po na usah sa mga makatabang sa inyo is when you read Book, the book of Psalm, uh, one suggests that one way to understand Psalm is like listening to a song. Because Psalm is a song, is a poet, poetry. Uh, so it, it's like Namina ko Kao Kanta. Now, Psalm 23 is one of the best composition ever penned. Kung magtanaw ka sa top, sa book of Psalms, itanaw yun ako na sa, sa internet and then usagin siya sa mga pinaka-top na chapter na mga dito. Sa three, top 3, usa siya. Number 1, pangit. So, chapter uh, I think chapter 23, 97, 121. Uh, murag, but, uh, depende mo na sa general Now, I can argue that that this psalm is not a random expression. Listen, uh, kaya mo inon nga kaninga psalm and express lang si Juan tungod sa arrangement, very very grabbing up ang arrange. Uh, it, it is more on uh, si David Murad. Grabe yun ang iyang meditation ani, ha? Deep thought and reflection who the Lord 
is now uh, on the other hand uh, wala po ko ingon na uh, purely David lang yun eh uh, purely David's thought about the Lord uh, what I'm saying is that God moved David through the Holy Spirit uh, to write what he thought about the Lord. Hindi ko rin na pwede sa sa pag sulat sa Bible he disregard him when he was in the Holy Spirit. Uh, although he was inspired by the Holy Spirit but on the other hand he really think who the Lord is in his life. So uh, I think it's okay to say about that. Uh, the power of personal meditation. Uh, verse 1 is a reflection of having a relationship with the Lord. Okay? The Lord is my shepherd. It's a complete sentence. Muna ang pinaka main thought ni niya data. The rest dependent yuda sa verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. It, it, uh, is good ni sa ilang relasyon. Ha? Huh? Relationship. Now, often times I said, did I say you that, um, when we talk about relationship with God, this is the highest form of relationship man ever had. Wala naging makatupungan eh. Kung may relationship kita sa Diyos, same sa kan David, wala eh. Laing pang relasyon, ano nga makatupung pa? The highest form of relationship nga may tabo sa usa ka tao. Uh, even though, this relationship, I would say, is a mismatch type of relationship. Uh, mismatch? Mismatch? One mismatch type of relationship because on one corner is the sovereign Lord, the other corner is dust. Huh? Yet the sovereign Lord embraced the dust because kung tanaw ni mo ginabuhi ni David puro mo ginadya we are from the dust the, the mismatch ya tumag kay sovereign and uh, ang si David kinsa naman siya ha huh? it is true that God does not need man to be God but because God established a relationship toward His people, then it is necessary for Him to bring this relationship, a satisfying relationship, unique, incomparable relationship. Bisan ding ana ka layo ang gap sa atong nasyon sa Dios, Sovereign Lord. But still, uh, tungod kay nag-establish yung relationship sa ato, mga kaitunan. Uh, makita na ito din na ang relationship na nag-establish at Diyos sa iyang mga covenant people is very satisfying as what David said sa inyo. It, it's unique. It's incomparable. We are made uh, dust abu. He created a little tao and then na siya ay relasyon sa umatin. Uh, Kahapon nag-visit ni sa grave ni Moon Grace. Hindi <laughs> na makita kung unta na iyan iyan ko ang dito. Kung unta na iyan lawas. Pero wala na ang iyan kala. Ang iyan na lang nagbati na pabilin at uh, pabalo that's how we 
uh, look at ourselves when we talk about relationship. But God made it satisfying relationship. Very unique. They get good makumpara sa mga relationship. Uh, this relationship he described ni, ni uh, David Dere, uh, the Lord. Uh, that is a definite relationship with the Lord, the word the. Okay, the Lord, David expressed his uh, here the definiteness, definiteness of the Lord. Uh, in other words, uh, he David is very sure, sure the uh, who the Lord is without any doubt. Bisa di niya po ni Manus and the sovereign na iya Lord. Pero sure siya na si Lord yun eh. Ang akong ang among ang 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 among union si Lord yun eh sure yun yun eh the Lord David definitely know the Lord as his shepherd on the other hand the Lord knows perfectly knows him perfectly as a sheep okay Kabano si David, definitely mawag hindi si Lord. Pero sa reverse, ang Lord, dili lang, definite, may kabano siya ka David. Perfectly he knows David. Huh? Uh, perfect knowledge towards David. On the side of David, sure knowledge toward Lord. I think it's okay to say that uh, the Lord, uh, there's a definite relationship. Uh, David and the Lord has a definite relationship. Uh, I remember it was a, it's a text in uh, uh, John chapter 10, uh, verse 27. Uh, uh, my sheep hear or listen to my voice. And I know them, and they follow me. So, so Christ really knows His sheep perfectly. He knows you and me perfectly. And because the sheep follows, the sheep knows His shepherd. Huh? Definitely, more good name. We want to uh, about lang sa outro sa sa tuwal o kung ko para lumugod at tuwal ay natin sa YouTube pero dilit kayo kaya yun 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 sila ang mga shepherd sometimes magtapok sila magtapok dalay lang mga sheep yun nga dagay ngayon magtapok na sila nga pa, pag time na paglakaw na na sila ay tawag and then ang sheep tuwal na kita sa ilang shepherd kabalo na sila kung in sa ilang shepherd mo follow you. Uh, that's a good uh, analogy to, to to look at sa atong relationship sa gino. That uh, David really sure sa iyan Lord. Ayan shepherd. But again, certainly and perfectly God knows you. Kung saan ay kayo sa inyo. Niwang ba tayo? Or tambok ba? O ata ka balok? But God, the Lord certainly knows you exactly what is in your heart, what is in your mind. And uh, yun na ang pakita na ito. Second, not only uh, this kind of relationship is a definite uh, relationship with the Lord. This relationship is a personal, or I would say, intimate relationship. When, when, when the Lord said, uh, when, when David said, "The Lord is my shepherd," and the word "my" 
describes the 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 mention of the devotion of the this is not only a creator creation relationship it is a uh, but it is a very in a very personal sense uh, kind of relationship anyone can say that God is my creator okay more of the way you know the land how I love the just on my basis Kay tanan di create sa ginoo, therefore tanan anak sa Dios. No, no. Anyone can say, I am created by God. There's no question. But not anyone can say. Uh, but not anyone can say, He is my personal Lord. As a lot of things in the future, the Lord is my shepherd. Very. Intimate. There's intimacy of their relationship. Uh, and uh, another thing, I'm kita na the word shepherd. Uh, shepherd, pagluluta uh, na, dili yun na. God is literally not a shepherd in a sense. Gaga, one yun siya kamilo, okay? Uh, but uh, David used this term uh, to describe uh, because this is the beauty, no? This is among the beauty that we have described. Nimo and Dios sa usaka ng shepherd. Muna ginahimo ni Juan. Since man cannot fully describe God, uh, the writer David. Uh, accommodate her appropriately ascribe to the Lord to be understood by human mind. Okay. This is one way. Magpunik na ito. Kaya kabalong man ta, dili sa ato sa sa Pilipinas, dili kay ta when it comes to shepherd. Nakakita ko ngayon yung shepherd. Namun dito yung shepherd, but dili, shit good! As I Diri sa malasan kaya kita ko. Diri sa malasan dito. Okay. Kaya katong unahan pa kaya sa malasan. Na ay mga ship dito. Na ako po siya shepherd. Abis na yung shepherd o. Pero di kaya kaya kita na din. Di mo na kumun sa ato. Pero sa ato reading, sa ato sa makita na ako, kung mag-research ka, makakulit ka makasabot ako. More. So, one of the purpose anak na di ganit. The word shepherd is a figure of speech emphasizes that the Lord takes take care of and responsible of his people. Pero wala lang din nagamit si David dili of term. Wala pud niya nasabtan. Ha? David used the word shepherd, and by using this term, he really knows unsa ang pasabot anak. Why? Because he is a shepherd. Kasabot yun siya. In this case, David pictured their relationship as the relationship, their relationship of shepherd and sheep relationship. The Lord is the shepherd, and He is the sheep. That is like when when David said, "The Lord is my shepherd." It is like that He is automatically. He had just told me, "I am His sheep," and then the balloon is here, no? He knows the sheep will not be mahimo apart from the shepherd. Amo po tinuod ba na natoy 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 nagwali nga ang sheep kuno mo kuno kaya ka dal 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 na ano na I don't know how but hindi ko na kwan na pero kinahanglan yun mula dito sa mga buhi kung wala siya pero mga buhi mula pero 
So, ah, uh, so ang book is that uh, kung si David, uh, kung you know, shepherd siya ni David, therefore, uh, si David is always dependent sa, you know, muna ang implication na ginawa niya. So, dili uh, pwede na, uh, I would say that in this, in this case that the, uh, the Lord, as a shepherd, the Lord is dependable. The, the, uh, they were really dependent sa, sa, sa gino, as a shepherd. They cannot live without the Lord as a shepherd. Okay? Uh, last phrase in our generate. I shall not one. I shall not want. Uh, this speaks about the sufficient the sufficiency of the Lord. Huh? The, the personal relationship made him realize uh, that having the Lord in his life is more than enough. Muna lingon siya, I shall not want. It seems that David couldn't ask for more by having the Lord in his life. Kung ano ko yung kailangan pa ma- Now, also, uh, when, when David said, I shall not want, this phrase is a is a very logical conclusion and very consistent of what uh, he said previously. Huh? The Lord is my shepherd. It's very logical conclusion, very consistent kung unsa ang statements of first. Okay? Dili uh, pwede nga naa kay relationship sa Diyos muna yung pinakakuan niya. Nga he is the Lord is your shepherd, and you want more. Dili pwede. He said, "I shall not want." Sa ato pa ang relationship ni ni David, yes, a Jews nagproduce of satisfaction. This phrase, I shall not, suggest that man is hunger. Man desire and keep seeking for satisfaction in life. Like suggest that I shall not want. Uh, I remember it was also the parable of uh, the parable of the rich, rich fool. Jesus Christ that there was a uh, certain rich rich man rich man rich man let's get the mayo harvest niya grabe kinagan pagbuta niya sa yung barn uy yung puno naman ayang guba yung barn Di padakan dia, di tinggung dia dengan kayu, tinggung saja. Masa pergi dari mana? Saya Seoul. Di tengah di mana? Di mana? You have many things. You have many things stored for many years. Eat, drink, and be. Mary. So, uh, and uh, you know, you fool. Uh, 
Pero ang ang kuha na ito. So, in the case of David, ang, ang point ang is that in the case of David, his relationship with the Lord brings satisfaction in his life. So, wala na siya na ingaw na need more additional ani. It's like saying, I am in the Lord, I need no other outside this relationship because I am fully satisfied with this relationship. The Lord is enough. Enough. It is not the Lord plus. It is the Lord alone. So, Pastor, give me a look at the book. Wow, give me a look at the book. No, no, this is not. Uh, this is This is about our relationship in the world. So, let's talk about relationship with the Lord. I assume na uh, kita ang tanan diri mga kaitunan uh, we are the same with, with David when we talk about relationship with the Lord. I assume that everyone has their relationship with the Lord. But I don't know if we arrive with the same thought and the same meditation that you can say I shall not. No matter how weak, how frail we are, our relationship with God should produce a godly and God glorifying thought and action sa atong mga tulad. Kani yung atong putot akong brain. God decides to think To think him, Puritan, Puritan, think big of God. We can get it up also, but we can think, we can live, we can enjoy this relationship. So, uh, may the Lord bless you. So, there's really a value when we have that personal meditation. Uh, see, David, we meditate in this And uh, we try to meditate also. That's the power of meditation. Meditating in the Lord. So, we will continue verse 2 next Sunday. May the Lord bless the Lord. Pulo, karong niya abuntad. Ah, let us pray. Lord, thank you. Because you are our shepherd. You know us very well. Pag-a-mga You are the Lord. Perfectly appointed sa aming mga ape, sa aming kinabuntad. I hope, Lord, na ito ang mga deal sa among mga mga issues sa pinaguhin din and uh, to the point that we will arrive at oh, enough it's enough to help the Lord you know. and uh, may we bless this thought you know sa among mga pinaguhin uh, help us to keep on meditating on you uh, sa among Thank you so much and we will see you in the long way many times.